new CX60 represents Mazda's push to capture an audience within the premium market and take on the German car brands in the upmarket SUV sector. We all know the brands that I'm talking about and Mazda are ready to show them up at their own game. Many brands have tried to do this in the past and unfortunately, not many have been memorably successful. But Mazda has a powerful recipe of engineering heritage and experience on its side. It's launching the CX-60 with a very of-the-moment powertrain. It's a plug-in hybrid, which combines a 2.5-litre four-cylinder petrol engine and also a 17.8 kilowatt hour battery, feeding an electric motor for a total of 323 brake horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, making it the most powerful road car Mazda has ever built. Plus, it also gets a claimed electric range of 39 miles. Hi, my name's Tish and I'm a local independent motoring journalist. The team here at Underwoods Colchester are super excited about the arrival of the new Mazda CX-60 and they've invited me down to the showroom to tell you everything there is to know about this impressive new car. If at any point during this presentation you have any questions about this new model, then pop them in the comments down below and a member of the team will be happy to answer your queries. Across the three trim levels offered in the UK, there are small areas of distinction to ensure that each model has its own look and customers can have their CX-60 suited to them. The exclusive line features 18-inch grey alloy wheels and dark wheel arch mouldings combined with a chrome finish to the signature wing grille surround, while the grille itself is finished in gloss black. The Mazda CX-60 Hamora that we have here at Underwoods takes on a sportier look with body-coloured wheel arch mouldings, 20-inch metallic black alloy wheels and a gloss black honey chrome style grille, combined with gloss black door mirrors and side grille trims. For the flagship Takami, the elegant look of this range topper is set off by 20-inch wheels, featuring a two-tone black and silver metallic machined look. It's elevated further with luxurious interior and stunning cabin materials inspired by its Japanese origins. But an impressive cabin is not just reserved for the top specification model. All versions of the Mazda CX-60 get impressive, comfortable and a well-finished cabin, including soft leather everywhere you look in this Hamora model. Storage space is also abundant and everything can be neatly hidden away behind quality materials. Climb into the CX-60 and it's easy to find a comfortable driving position. This is especially so with the driver personalization system, which is fitted to this Hamora model and upwards. It uses facial recognition to automatically adjust things in your settings once you climb into the seat. Handy if you regularly swap between drivers. The CX-60 features Mazda's largest infotainment screen to date, 12.3 inch unit atop the dashboard, I also have some great news if you're a Mazda enthusiast. You still operate the screen using this handy click wheel and menu buttons rather than having to jab on the screen and get your fingerprints all over it. It also gets a large digital instrument cluster which is bright and easy to read. As you toggle through the different driving modes available, this also changes the visual appearance of the cluster, switching up themes to match the different driving choices. The boot is nice and uniform in shape and offers 570 litres with the rear seats up and 1,726 litres with them down. That's more than enough to fit all the luggage for a weekend trip away. And it beats the Audi Q5, the BMW X3 and the Lexus NX. There's also no load lip to contend with either. And the opening is wide and square in shape making it easy to load items in. Plus, all models beside the entry-level exclusive trim get an electric boot opening and gesture control. Space in the back is also extremely practical for families. There are three good-sized seats, a pull-out armrest with cup holders, two USB-C charge ports and even a three-pin plug. Plus, passengers in this Hamora model are even treated to heated rear seats. 
The CX-60 makes a fantastic family car for those who can take advantage of shorter journeys. Officially, the Mazda can travel up to 39 miles in fully electric power off of a single charge of its battery, which considering a recent survey in the UK found the average driver drove 20 miles a day could seriously help reduce your fuel bills. The hybrid model is also capable of charging as you drive. A clever regenerative braking system essentially gently applies the brakes as you lift off of the accelerator and this puts energy back into the battery. The regenerative braking system comes in two different strengths which can be adjusted via the infotainment system. If you're not quite ready to live the electrified lifestyle, then a petrol and diesel model will follow on later this year. So feel free to contact Underwoods Mazda for more information on this. Whilst some brands have chosen to reduce the power in their hybrid models, Mazda know that performance is important to their customers. As I mentioned at the start of this video, this is actually the most powerful production Mazda yet. The CX-60 is powered by a 2.5-litre four-cylinder petrol engine and also a 134 brake horsepower electric motor. Total power output when the two is combined is 323 brake horsepower, which is good for a very swift 0-62 time of 5.8 seconds. Similarly, where some hybrids struggle to put that instant electric torque through two wheels, Mazda is fitted with four-wheel drive system as standard, so there's very little drama when it comes to actually deploying that power. The steering is brimming with feedback and accuracy, and here is where Mazda really shines against its rivals. It's relaxing yet rewarding. The CX-60's large stance and surprisingly traditional setup away from the engine means it's one of the few plug-in hybrids that's able to pull a caravan or a trailer. Its towing capability is a whopping 2,500 kilograms. The CX-60 gets all of the latest safety equipment, much of which is standard. The driver assistance package adds things like front cross-traffic alert, adaptive cruise control with active steering assist, autonomous emergency braking, and adaptive LED headlamps. The Mazda CX-60 is yet another example of the Japanese manufacturer carving its own niche and producing an utterly desirable car as a result. The CX-60 does face a challenge in tempting buyers away from German rivals, but with its superb interior, competitive price, and plug-in hybrid's generous electric range, we know that it's going to be a huge hit with existing and new customers. For any more information about the CX-60 or if you yourself would like a test drive, then don't hesitate to get in contact with Underwoods Mazda via the link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!